Hey everybody, it's Andrew. We've got a quick update for the blog feature of High Level. We now have the ability to support section templates, global sections, as well as some additional buttons and functionality within the blogs themselves. If you go to the sites and then blog section right within your sub accounts, then we can open up our brand new blog, go to edit blog site. And then when we go here, we're going to see a lot of new functionality that is really going to make editing our blogs a lot easier. So if we check out this blog template page right here, we can click add element on the left hand side and we will see a couple of new things. One, global sections are available finally, which is great. So now we can take sections like headers, footers, and save them as global sections. Now, what if we don't have a header or footer for this brand new blog? Well, we also have section templates, which is fantastic because these are going to carry over from sites and funnels. So you can see lots of different templates are already in here from some other sites that are in this sub account. So for example, if we want to drop in a footer, let's drop this in right here. Then we now have this photo that we built as a template on another one of our sites. So it's going to make it a lot easier to brand our blogs to look identical to our regular sites within sites and funnels. And then additionally, now that we have global sections available, we can take this footer, save it as a global section right here, and it will be as easy as that. Again, we didn't have this functionality in the blogs before, so it was kind of difficult to actually build blogs that looked identical to our sites and funnels. And now since this is here, it's gonna make blogging a lot easier on the high level platform. Outside of that, we also have some new themes for buttons, social media icons, images, and the progress bar for our sites, button sort of templates that high level has built for us that we can add into our site as elements wherever we would like. And it makes it a lot easier to customize some of these things within our blogs. We also have these same sort of templates for social media icons. This feature was not available for blogs before, and now it is, which is great. So we can pick from any of these and throw them into our blog. And then we also have the same sort of thing for images. So we have different images, different themes that include borders, shadows, shapes, things like that, that we can use as templates when it comes to adding in these elements within our blogs. And then lastly, we have our progress bars, which we can edit. So we have all these different awesome themes that are available through high level that we can throw on our site just like that. And it's easy as that. And of course, when you're done with all this, make sure you save. And remember, we are editing this within the blog section. So we are in sites, blogs, edit blog site. That's where we're making those adjustments because this is going to be specifically for blog related websites, not necessarily the regular funnels and websites that we were messing with earlier. If you haven't created a blog yet, it's as easy as going to the blog section, clicking new, and then setting up your blog with a title, domain, and meta description. Once you do that, you can edit your blog pages and start making blog posts to help your company rank better or share information with your audience or anything like that. It's a super cool feature. I'm glad we've got some of these improvements. If you have any questions about how these improvements work, leave a comment and thank you for watching.